This one was an easy sell for me. Like this one right here, cat butt with an X. Got me for right away. First thing I saw and I was like, sold buying it. <laughs> okay guys, so we are doing Timu again. I don't know if this is considered a part two or just like episode two, either way. So I have in this box and a few things outside of the box. The box is not part of the order. It was just holding the things. And then today, I just grabbed it like literally five minutes ago, was the second part that they just shipped to me. And I was super excited. So now I can't wait to open it. So we're just going to open it together. But let's show you what was in the first part that I had already opened. First thing, some nail stickers. This one was an easy sell for me. Like this one right here, cat butt with an X. Got me for right away. First thing I saw and I was like, sold buying it. <laughs> but yeah, little, a bunch of little black cat heads and um, spirit of, I think it's spirited way, right? The little soot sprites and uh, his, him, him. I forget his name, if he has a name. But yeah, you get the gist. Those were an easy sell for me. And then a lot of nail things. And actually, let's get into this because it's like probably the one, yeah, one not nail thing in this little bucket. They're meant for like these are little clothespins with beads to make them look cute. Another regular pin is a black one too. And these little guys. And they're for clothing. There we go. They're for clothing. So if something's like too big and you want to like cinch it together on either side or whatever, you can open this up. It's a little needle. You, my cat is scratching on her scratching post, so you'll hear that. But you can take the clothing, kind of like ruche it together, pull this through, close it off with the other side, and it looks cute still. It doesn't look like with a regular clothes, but it looks like finished. So you don't have to have it altered if you need something done like now. This, this is, you're good. You got this. I got this. This, <laughs> I'm a little iffy about this. I don't really know how I feel about using it, but we'll see how it goes. Um, it's called uh, Magic Remover. It's to get rid of like, remove the gel polish. Um, I'm hoping it works because honestly, removing gel polish is a whole task that I absolutely hate. I just kind of let it wear off on its own. Um, and for some reason, I think I just do a bad job of applying it. I don't think I like clean my nails off well enough before putting gel polish on because it usually just chips off fairly easy on its own. But like when it doesn't, it's a whole thing. But as you can see, the label is upside down. Easy mistake. So it's not that big of a deal. But it's just one more little thing that I'm like, hmm, I hope it's okay to use that. I hope it's not going to like poison my skin or something. I highly doubt that. But you know, it's just a thing. Uh, and the directions aren't super clear. Um, they're, they're roughly translated, put it that way. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, onto something fun. This is just a gel polish, but it it's flower fairy is the color, I guess. I don't know if you consider a color. Um, there is a, that was the cardboard that goes inside the cap. There is a, a seal on here. I peeled off the, I tried peeling it off. The foil part came off, but there's like a clear plastic part that's still on there. I figured I'd just leave it on there so I can do this and show you hopefully. Um, and it's just little flower petals and greenery, I think is then there too, like little stems. It's super tiny, and uh, to my knowledge, the gel itself is clear. And honestly, that seems like the coolest thing ever. I like. I can't wait to use this. I got so many gels that I can't wait to use, so my trouble is going to be figuring out which one to use first. It's going to be difficult for me. But on to another. I got three colors of this. This one is wide open, so I'm going to try to do this. This one is called... TF75, so that's not as cute of a name, but uh, that's what it looks like. I hope you can see it well. This one's not real flowers. This one is more, it's like glitter 
and as you can, you probably saw the glitter and little white, like, I don't know if they're plastic or something else, just little white fake flowers. Still super cute. And uh, to my knowledge, the gel in this one is also, I'll show you the cover. See, it's like little purple pieces in there too. Um, the gel is also clear on that one. Next one, the gel is like, I like, um, let me see, double check. Yeah, uh, a pale purple, like a very translucent pale purple with glitter and tiny white flowers, but being the gel is purple, it comes up so the flowers look a little bit more purple also. And there's little like red flecks in there too. Love all of these. I did accidentally order two of the purple one. Didn't mean to, didn't realize I did it, but that's fine. It's super cute. I probably will use both. So, and it was like a buck. So it's not that big of a deal. Next thing, another little pot, but this one's different. This is a quick build. So it's like building gel, but it's not your average. It's colored and it has gold flecks all throughout it. Honestly, this is gorgeous. Trying to like move it around so you can see the gold flecks and so it doesn't pour out of the thing. But it's like a peachy pink color with gold flecks. It's beautiful. Just like, honestly, it's gorgeous. <laughs> and then this stuff, it's like a, from what I looked up, it said it was like an acrylic build. Um, this one's black and it's meant to look like, so you can sculpt little designs. It's not meant to paint your whole nail. That's not the idea behind this. It's just to like sculpt little designs on it. And this one's a light baby pink. So I got black and baby pink out of these two. So it'd be cool if you wanted to do a little bit, a slightly like 3d look of, um, like pink petals, black petals, or just like any form of design that you want at all. I really like this cause I want to do like little like cherry blossoms. Not saying I'm that good. Don't know if that will actually be an end result, but the attempt will be made. <laughs> all right, on to, nope, already did that one. All right, this guy, let me get it out of the package so you can actually see it. This is just like a little, um, you know, it's gonna be kind of hard to see for you. There you go. Um, little like iridescent circles, all different sizes. Some are extra small, some are medium, slightly bigger. They're all very small though, because I have tiny nails. Even when I add like fake nails on top, it's, I never go super long because I just can't go to work like that. It wouldn't work out. I'd end up hurting my natural nail if I went to work like that. So yeah, the, they have to stay short. So these are a beautiful size for me. And they were just super cute. And honestly, the container that they came in, great. I can, even when they run out, I'll definitely reuse this. So glad they came in like that. That was amazing. This guy, you probably will have a hard time seeing this too. These are just clear hearts. Both these and these are flat backs. I think everything that I got that were for nails, that's this kind of style is gonna be a flat back because it just makes it easier. But yeah, I hope you could kind of see this, but they're little hearts and they're just super tiny and clear. And I saw a nail design somewhere. Honestly, I might've seen it on um, Timu as like an example. And I fell in love with it. I think that's where I saw it. I feel like my lighting's doing funky things too, but the weather outside's also doing funky things. So not surprised. Um, but yeah, I saw, this design, I think it was on Timu and I fell in love with it. And I instantly had to be like, I need to recreate this for myself. I need, it has to happen. So this is gonna be in that design. The next thing, which will also be in the design is I'm not sh I don't remember which color. Honestly, I could probably use either one, but I got some gel polishes. These are small bottles. This one's even smaller. Um, is it actually? Yeah, it's barely, but yeah, it's slightly smaller. But uh, we have this one. It is, yeah, that's the brand, whatever that is. Um, Verge Sister, I guess it's something like that. And the color is smoke red. 
and there you go. It's you can kind of see it in the stick better than anything else. It's um, more of a translucent color, but also buildable. Uh, that's been my new thing. I've been loving those translucent colors. And then you can have them like ombre out into like a deeper color if you want somewhere else on the nail. I don't know, I've, it's just been the new thing for me. Uh, then I got this one. This one doesn't have a nail color. It's just DT89. And it is more of like a amber like a brownish red, whereas that one was definitely more of a red or a deep red. And then we got this one, it is called Lemon Bubble. And it is like a milky lemon or lemon yellow color, a very pale yellow color. But um, it, when I saw it on like the model for advertising for this stuff, it was so pretty. So they had it, so it was doing that same, like I mentioned, the ombre of being more coated and then like less coated. So it was more transparent at the tip or whatever. And they also made it matte, which I have that, I can do that. Um, and it looked so good matte, so sold from that. <laughs> and my last color in this, there might be more in the bag, but my last color for this one is a full size bottle and a nice bottle. This is like, Whereas all these bottles were plastic, this one is not. So wherever I got this one, I have to go back and get more because this one obviously was the deal. <laughs> and its name is Avocado. It is also a transparent one, but look at that beautiful green color. Green as you guys possibly know, I have mentioned it before I think, but green is my favorite color and sold easy <laughs> and I picked up some just like little tiny glue nail glue guys I like those small ones because um I don't know the big ones I always have an issue of sometimes they dry up faster than I can use them and the small ones like I just feel like I'm wasting a little bit less if it if this ends up drying up and it's only halfway down I'm like oh it's just a little bit it's fine so it's not so big of a deal but now we're gonna crack in, it's upside down. I'm gonna crack into the big guy. Hold on, I'm gonna pause this and just open it up for now. <laughs> okay, so I completely forgot a good chunk of what I ordered in this one. Um, this is one thing I didn't forget though. This is it. I know it kind of looks a little strange, but this is obviously not a nail product. It's um, like a household cleaning thing. So here it is. This is like um, a really fuzzy like microfiber thing and it stretches. You can take it off so then you can wash it. And this is like a really flexible plastic underneath. And this is great. It has a pole that you screw on as such. And then, yeah, it extends too. So it's nice and long. But yeah, this is it. And it's for cleaning underneath furniture. That's really hard to get it, um, especially like under the bed for me personally. Uh, it, I have a very small bedroom. I have a very small apartment, but a very small bedroom. And it's very difficult to like reach under the bed in certain areas. Um, and this is great for getting anything that falls under there or even just cleaning, like dusting under the couch, just like under the fridge is one that they advertised it for. Like you never think to clean under there, but it, it's disgusting, trust me. I've taken a flashlight under there to get the cat toy, it's gross. So yeah, we should all be cleaning in some of those areas. They could use it sometimes, not often, but here and there. And definitely bought that for that reason exactly. And I'm super excited to have it now. This one's nothing special. Uh, it's just some, that was loud, huh? I'm sorry about that. This is just nail files, nothing fancy. Two, I think it, it's not even, it's just two different grits. It's, yeah, I just needed them. So yeah, <laughs> that was it. So mm, this one I'm so excited about and they're smaller than expected, which for me is even better. These are just tiny little gummy bears, but they're hard. They're for your like nails again. They're so flipping cute. 
They're so tiny. That's like, okay, I have really small nails. They're really messed up and gross looking right now too, so don't judge. But like my nail and that, I have, my nails are like, my whole, my hands are like child size, so for reference. <laughs> Next, I got this little pen. Let me take it out of the bag. Okay, I got this little pen, which is uh, slightly deceiving and possibly dangerous. <laughs> or the fact that it's not even a pen. You, it clicks like a normal pen. It looks like a normal pen, but you click it. And if I get it to focus, that's actually a little like blade, like razor blade at the tip. Can you see that? Yeah. It's great for like, if you do miniature, like I do miniature build things and you're trying to do small, very minute cuts. This is great for that. And I didn't even know this was a thing until I sold it in there. And I'm very glad it is. So I bought one. Next. Nano tape. I'm sure you have seen all of the different things people are doing with nano tape. So I had to hop on that bandwagon, give it a try myself. Uh, it, apparently it's good for like just sticking things on stuff safely without destroying like the wall or anything else like I don't know desk whatever you're sticking into but also people are doing like crafts like they're making like really cool like stress ball things or like, just weird things and I'm hoping this is the right the same product that they're using I don't fully know but yeah I got a roll there was a, a bunch of different options of different types so I didn't know what I was trying to get so I just gambled with it We'll see. I got a couple things with me on that one. Okay, I got some nail tips. I usually go for the full nail. I think in the future I might try to do just the tip ones now that I have like a builder gel so it can like level that off because I could never get it. So with, there was no like bump separation. But these are still a full one and they are, um, like slightly textured textured at the nail part so you don't have to really file that too much i still do but you don't have to do it as much but yeah and i uh, believe these are almond shape i hope they're good they were a good price oh it came with oh it came with solid gel i didn't even know that was a th thing it was going to come with that's so cool even a better buy I'm wondering if that gel is just like glue gel or if it's, that would make sense, huh? I'm going to say that's glue gel. All right. A few more nail things here that came with, or was stuck to that at least. Some nail stickers. This one is like lemons and limes and oranges. It looks like they're just adorable. And they're just such cute things for the summertime. <laughs> And, oh, I forgot about this one. Uh, this one's just cute faces. Once again, what sold me was the model that they had these on, the hand model. Uh, they made it look adorable, so I kind of was sold off of that. I, I'm one of those people that all they, if they just do good packaging or advertising, I'm a great candidate for that because I get sold by that very easily, which is terrible but I'm aware of this. It's a problem that I will work on on my own. All right, these are just like little micro, like felt tip cleaning doodads. I don't know how to describe them, but they're great and you get a whole bunch. How many is in here? Does it say? Nope. I think it was like a hundred in here. It seems like that. Uh, they're great for like either nail cleanup or electronic cleanup like on your phone if you need to clean the inside of your like charging outlet plug whatever you call that on your phone you know what i'm talking about these are great because they're tiny and they're felt tips so they won't like hurt anything they're soft but they can get any dust and grime that's in there out uh same thing with like headphones all of that stuff great thing to have for cleaning all electronic stuff like that I would highly recommend, and these ones on, on here, it's, they're so cheap. I also have, um, from Amazon, uh, wooden ones. They're a little bit bigger than this, so they're good for, like, slightly bigger tasks. 
These are slightly smaller. These are like super tiny. So great for those extra fine tasks. What is this? Oh, okay. This is like, um, I'm gonna take it out of the package because you really can't see it. You really still can't. This is gonna be a little difficult to show you. These are like little Asian style. I'll put it in front of my face because my skin is gonna be the thing that will be the contrast for it. You can see like, I think that's like Chinese writing. I could be totally wrong. I'm sorry if I am. And then some like cranes I'm thinking they are. There's other ones with uh, roses and koi fish and bamboo. Um, and to my knowledge, these are like what I call tattoo nail press on things. Um, either that or they're meant to be like a foil style, but I think these are like the tattoo style where you just dip them in some water and press it onto your nail and it adheres to your nail instead. I'm not fully sure on that. Let me see if it says anything on the package. How to use. Perfect. Hold on. Okay, this another house cleaning product. <laughs> This is just a really firm, hard bristled brush that is like kind of tapered at the tip and just, ah, oh, okay. Didn't think that was gonna go like that. This thing pops out and it's like a little scraper. And this is advertised for like inside the window ledge in that crevice where it gets really gunked up and nasty to help clean that. This is for the hard stuff, you can scrape at it. This is that perfect angle so you can like get in the crevices also and that just pops in there and you're good to go all in one. Honestly, you can use this for a lot of different areas, not just the windows, obviously, but it's handy to have. So I got it. I like handy, convenient and very useful cleaning products. <laughs> I got this guy. It's, um, I'm just gonna say, a lot bigger than I was expecting. Um, I'm not sure if I was expecting smaller just because all of our other pots were super, super tiny, but this is like looking pretty close to a full size thing. This is um solid sticker adhesive gel. Of course, there's a foil on it. It's obviously sealed, which is a good thing, but um, this is, I'm thinking this is just, um like either builder gel, I forget if it's builder gel that I ordered or if it was the gel that's also a glue. It's like UV gel glue. Seeing as it says adhesive gel, I'm thinking it's the, the latter. Um, Cause I know I definitely ordered that. Sorry about that. Okay, apparently I ordered a little red box of something. Uh, oh my God, okay. <laughs> These are more similar to the nano tape. Um, similar idea. It's like sticky on both sides. They have a film, so you just peel it back and then you can stick things. And it's like a whole container full of them. I'm not gonna lie to you though, these are way smaller than I thought they were gonna be. I think they probably had size options and I didn't pay attention to that and I just went with the smallest one because it was the cheapest. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but they seem like they're gonna be super useful. I think when I get my own house, they'll be more useful. Cause I currently do not want to stick anything on the walls of my apartment if I plan on leaving within the year. But just cause I, I don't want to ruin the wall. Like I already am nervous about not getting my deposit back. <laughs> don't need to make that worse. Nail brushes. Can I get them out of this bag? That's a question. I got some nail brushes. Honestly, uh, these are cuter than I expected. The little handles are like iridescent, all different colors. I love it, super cute. And we got all, here we go. Oh, this one's a little, he's fine, it's fine. One is a little bit messed up. You can see him, this guy, he's a little moment, but he'll be fine. And then really what I want is these two, but I'll still definitely be using the bigger guys too. Um, yeah, the nail brushes. I don't know what else to say about that. There might be a few of these stray inside this bag because this was just like kind of open, but these are little like lintless 
paper is great for getting polish off your nails and probably for other little tasks. Um, but yeah, and it came in a cute little container. So, yeah. Honestly, oh. Oh, it says this is technically for eyelash extensions. I don't have that, I don't do that. So we're gonna use them for nails and I don't know, maybe like makeup remover or something. Another large cleaning thing. <laughs> Hold on, this is what we're working with. We got the pole again and the same style. It will extend and whatnot. Same exact thing as the other one. Does this? Nope, okay. And this is the bottom part instead. You screw that together. And this is like kind of like a squeegee, but they advertise it to be like used as a broom. It looked like it worked really well. I, I will give it a shot. And if not, um, honestly, if I thought about it and I was like, this would also be a great thing for window cleaning to like reach. I have like ridiculously tall windows, super high, like 16 foot tall window. I live in an old mill, so they have tall windows. And same thing with also in the shower. If you wanna clean your shower um, and you wanna do the, like the daily upkeep too, you know how you get those like water drips on the side? This would be good to like just squeegee that water away. So it's always like shiny and beautiful. I feel like I'm making myself sound like my place is probably like way cleaner than it is. It's not, but I'm trying. I like to have these at my disposal because it will also help me clean. And I do like a very clean place. Bernie is over here sniffing the garbage that I have piled on the floor. So he might join us. He's also trying to eat the plastic because he's a garbage kitty. Another nail thing. I don't know what this one is, to be honest. Hold on, let me try to open it and find out. Okay, so I still have no idea what it is. It's just clear. Uh, I'm thinking this is most likely just builder gel uh, because that's just what it looks like. But yeah, if it's not, and I find out what it is before I put this episode or this video up, um, I'll throw it up here somewhere. This thing, it's uh, like goes on a mason jar. I hope it fits on the ones I have. I only have a couple. I'm hoping it'll fit. But yeah, it pops open as so and closes. It's got the handle. This is like the cheaper version of the one that you can buy on Amazon that was like going viral on TikTok. It's got a little, whoop, this little thing too, um, for if you wanna make homemade creamer or really anything else, but I'm doing it for homemade creamer and you put it in your mason jar and now your mason jar has a handle and an easy spout to pour it out of. I'm using a different jar currently and it works. It's not bad, but it leaks a lot and it's super annoying. So hopefully that doesn't leak nearly as bad as the other one. I, I expect it to kind of leak maybe up here because there's no actual rubber gasket or anything, but it, it, honestly, it's better to defend probably what I got. I got this. I don't remember what this is. No, I do. I remember now. So <laughs> this is just like a big rubber strip here. Uh, this is meant to go on the side of your oven to block that little gap that you always get from the uh, the stovetop and the counter. So crumbs don't like collect down there and get nasty. Yeah, I thought I was gonna get two. I, I only see one. There might be another one in here. Currently I only got one, which is fine. I'll just put it on the side that tends to get more like work done around so then I can prevent it there. But yeah. Or I can just order a second one. All right, this is just gonna be a very difficult one to see. There you go. Um, little tiny plastic hearts. They're black. I was gonna say, I think they're deep red. It kind of shows up as deep red on this, on the camera right now, but they're they're meant to be black. Um, but yeah, just cute little, cute little bag of hearts. What's this? Ah, rings. So this one's gonna be interesting to see the sizing because there wasn't sizing. Usually they run big, so I won't be surprised if they run big. 
um, and I have very tiny hands, so most of these things don't fit, but I figured I'd give a shot anyways. Yeah, these are gonna run big, because that's my thumb, and it's still, like, really loose. But, like, they're just simple black. Oh, some of them are actually different sizes, so... Okay, that one fits on that finger. Um, oh, and some seem to be um, adjustable. Like, this one is not fully closed, so I can definitely make that fit, like, any finger. And on the, um, on the model, hand model, whatever, uh, they, they had it so some of these rings weren't, like, all the way down here. They had them so, like, some were ooh, placed more up here, just to be, like, fancy. But yeah, there's a bunch. There's this guy. Um... This guy, he looks like a little chain. Uh, another plain regular circle. Uh, a twisty looking one. And a bunch more like little circles. This one is extra thin. Seems on the smaller side. Once again, <laughs> my fingers are just way too small. Like it's not supposed to hit my knuckle. I think it's supposed to sit like right here not like sit on my knuckle so yeah i just have really really small fingers i think this one is two but they're tangled yes i got two of these out these are ones are kind of cool like that i actually like those ones but yeah uh it was a whole bag of those so they were cool. Uh, like, I can probably adjust them. Some of them, like, I have to just cinch together. Or if they don't really fit that well, I have some of those, like, ring sizer things that you just throw on, like, it's a rubber thing to make them smaller. And it kind of works. I got this guy. More nail stuff. So this is just a bunch of rhinestones. All different sizes. Um, they're all iridescent ones. All flat backs. And you go from like bigger, what are they? They got like numbers, right? Yeah, it seems like there's numbers on here. It's like nine, eight, and so, so on. But yeah, and they get really, really small down here. Next, this just looks like a toothbrush. It's not. <laughs> this is once again, another miniature cleaning thing. This is a super soft felt little plastic thing to get into crevices. And another one here for those crevices um, in like the bathroom or once again, the windows, um, anywhere else too. Or even, like I said, electronics or anything like that, that you need to like handle more delicately or just are in stubborn spots. Those things are kind of nice to have. Okay, we're down to our last two items. Um, I have a shirt. I think this is the only clothing item. Yes, it is. It's not that I think. I, I know. This is the only clothing item I got in this one. Let's see how it turned out. It's like a extra low, like, workout top. And this, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it is definitely more sheer than I was expecting. But you won't get too warm in it. That's good. Honestly... It's looking pretty cute. You wear like a cute sports bra, so like it's obviously gonna be showing. But yeah, just make sure you wear a sports bra because this is obviously see-through. You can see right, like you can see me. But I don't mind it. I don't mind that at all. And this is the last item. It has a bunch of little doodads. So this little funnel came with it. And this is just one of those things where if you're trying to do your nails, and pour a glitter or anything, acrylic, whatever, that's powdered, right, like, um, you would pour it and it would catch all of that in here, and then you don't waste it, so you can pour this right back into your container, and, uh, you don't have to worry about wasting any of your precious glitters, and it doesn't go everywhere. Honestly, that's probably the biggest thing for me is it won't go everywhere because like I don't want to I don't think anyone really wants glitter everywhere 
You know, once there's glitter somewhere, it's there forever. It's never leaving. Cat's going to the bathroom, so you can definitely hear that. Thanks, Bernie. Great job. He's really good at this. <laughs> but yeah, you don't want glitter everywhere. And this is going to at least prevent a lot of that from happening. Because, like, there's no good way of pouring glitter onto your fingers and not having it go everywhere. But yeah, anyways, there's that. That was the last item. Still got a couple of my rings on. Um, honestly, definitely got a lot. I think, to my knowledge, I think I spent like 60 bucks, which seems really good for me. I think that I don't know how many items there were, but there was a lot. And for 60 bucks, that was pretty good. I know I had a coupon and that definitely helped, but like either way, still couldn't beat that. I think it was a great haul. Uh, super excited about it. It's not like the last one where it was clothing and there was a lot of questionable things that could happen. Uh, this one, it's just nail stuff and you can't really go wrong with it. There will most likely be upcoming nail videos of using some of the stuff, like some of the gels and stuff, just cause I'm also curious to know if that's gonna work out. I feel like it should, but yeah, we'll find out. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here and probably just do my nails off camera for fun for myself, just cause I'm excited about it. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll see you guys next time. I uh, don't know what it's gonna be next time, but have a good day, enjoy yourself, drink some water. Remember that, drink water. Uh, and uh, yeah, once again, I'll see you next time.